Good morning, BHS. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Hawk News. My name is Wesley Callery. Hope you're having a nice day. This is Bianca Jovez. My name is Joe Cavallaro. I'm back. And welcome this morning. This is your, this is not your host, TJ. Today is Thursday, October 10th. We, uh, day two, start with period G. Let's get into today's top stories. Attention sophomores, please hand in your Yankee Candle fundraiser packets before the end of the week. Oh, and yeah. that's today. I was in a Yankee Candle store the other day. It smells so good in there. Picture day. Uh, seniors. Corey, our picture will be taken on Thursday, October 17th at approximately 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, exactly. Please make sure you are here so you're not left out of the picture. So for picture day for everybody else, that is Wednesday, October 16th, information will be online for your parents and envelopes will be distributed soon. Any questions, please see Melissa. My picture is going to be awful like I just said. Homecoming 2K19, 2K, starting on 10 21 19, and for the week at lunch hours, that is $20 a ticket, as is every year. Let's go, Hoko 2K19. Go, Blackhawks. Attention sophomores, the sophomore pizza presentation party will be on Friday, December 13th. Tickets are $20 and will be on sale until October 31st, which is Halloween, the spooky day. All sophomores are invited, so if you didn't get to purchase anything, please, if you did not get to purchase your class rings, please join your classmates in your sophomore presentation. Tickets may be per purchased from Melissa or Mrs. Dennis, and if 80 tickets are not sold, then the pizza party will have to be canceled. Donate to the VHS Food Pantry. They need snacks, granola bars, and conditioner. And <coughs> how about another deal? If you want to donate to a hungry child, come find me and give me a snack from the vending machine. Please, I'm, I, I'm broke. That's sad. All right, now it's time for our weekly health tip. So for our weekly health tip, um, winter's so you know winter's coming up soon. It is the cold season's coming down. The warm weather is starting to go down. So just make sure when you go outside for this kind of stuff, make sure you bundle up, wear warm clothes, because I've heard that the weather this winter is supposed to be very cold, like it was last year and years past, and especially that bad winter we had in. 2017 when it was like almost below freezing point and we just want to make sure that you guys are all safe because make sure you guys cannot get make sure like we cannot get hypothermia and have to deal with any more of these uh stories so just make sure you bundle up stay warm and that was our weekly health tip yeah i'll definitely dress like frosty the snowman this winter frosty the snowman that was like everyone that was like every day it was under 32 degrees except for one day it was 24 i'm like it's so warm from 2017 to 2018 like around christmas break time yeah oh yeah sorry about that that was it was right that i remember that year on new year's eve it was wreckenbergenly cold that night it was like it was cold very cold that night if it is as cold as it was in 2017, I'm going to try and set the world record for how many sweatshirts can be on one person. Meme. So, apparently, somewhere in the 1800s, some people decided to make a map of North America. They called it, like, Vinland map or something. Because <laughs> North American people need a, ma um, need a map of North America. Why who, not? Who made it? People at Yale, it never really said who. Do you know who the name is? Nope. Do they think it's Christopher Columbus? I don't know. Christopher Columbus was the one who uh, first found America, even though he thought he found India or something like that, and that's why we don't have school on Monday. Now it's time for sports. The best segment of all time! With all of us. Mostly me. Welcome to sports, everyone. Um, I just want to get away with this stuff before Wes goes on to his stuff. So, our unified basketball team, we had a game on Monday. I completely forgot who we played against, but we lost 31-42. Uh, to 42. Uh, We're going to be having another game next Friday. We're uh, hoping, we'll beat, or, or hoping we'll beat against them. 
um, to make sure because even though we lost this game, this was like our highest scoring game yet on the Unified Basketball team ever since we've started. So it was fairly disappointing that we lost the game. We were pretty sure we were, we were going to win the game, but practices are every – like usual practices are every Tuesday and Thursday. And so let's go Unified Basketball. Let's go! <laughs> all right, so New England Patriots – 33-7, as you all know. Sunday Night Football, Kansas City Chiefs lost 19-13. And Monday Night Football, the Cleveland Browns got killed 31-3. to uh, And hockey, the Bruins are off to a fast start. They're off to 3-0. and They beat the Vegas Golden Knights, a very good team, good opponent. They might be a uh, might play each other in the finals this year. Who knows? But their Bruins are 3-0. and They were down 2-0, quickly became 2-1, to and we won the game 3-4. to and then after that, the Red Sox out of the playoffs. Yankees advanced to the ALCS. More baseball next week on that. And the Celtics are also starting their season soon. I believe it's October 22nd. WWE The Rock returned for Friday Night SmackDown. Brock Lesnar beat Kofi Kingston within about 10 to 15 seconds. It was a great Friday Night SmackDown. Friday Night SmackDown appears every night on Fox at 8 p.m. 7 Central, but we don't have to worry about that. Hopefully it's a good episode this time. And Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns reunite once again because, you know, that's what happened last time because Roman Reigns finally found out what happened with everything that happened with Eric Rowan if you watch WWE. So, uh, football team playing this night uh, Friday. Uh, I believe they're playing against Dedham or w- one of those schools up there. Go football team Friday night on the road at 7 p.m., something like that usually. And then um, next week, I get to interview the captains from field hockey and football at the same time. Catch that next week on sports. Thank you guys so much for watching Huck News. It's been Joe Caballero. It's been Wes Calorie. Bianca Gomez. And this has been your secondary guy, TJ. We hope you all have a great long weekend since we don't have school tomorrow or Monday. Make sure you uh, go check out the game on Friday for Unified Basketball. We'll see you all next time. Go Pats.